All right, so what we're doing in this video is we're applying Prim's algorithm to determine the minimum spanning tree in the following network. All the arcs are labeled with their costs. Recall that Prim's algorithm essentially builds the minimum spanning tree from scratch by iteratively adding nodes into the tree. It leverages the cut optimality conditions. Um, so essentially what Prim's algorithm maintains at each iteration we have a set of nodes that are in the tree we're going to call them s a set of nodes that are not in the tree we're going to call them s bar and what we're going to look at these two sets of nodes kind of cut the network into two distinct sets we're going to look at all the arcs that go from set s to set s bar and simply choose the node or the arc in that that spans this cut that is the cheapest. Now we're just looking at a basic limitation of Prim's algorithm, we're not going to do anything with distance labels, we're just going to focus on the arcs in the cut. Now to get Prim's algorithm going, we can choose any node that we want as our root node. We're going to choose node 1. What I'm doing in the bottom left here, we're just is going to help us to kind of visualize and maintain which nodes are in the MS tree, MST already and which arcs are in the cut from S to S bar. Now we also have at iteration one, just one is in our tree, or in our tree, and then two, three, four, five, and six are not in the tree. And then we're going to kind of look at what are the arcs that go from the cut from S to S bar. So in this case, what we have is we have arc, we have arc one, two in this cut. We have arc 1, 3 in the cut, and then we also have arc 1, 5 in the cut. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at which of these three arcs are the cheapest. And if we look at the cost data, arc 1, 3 has a cost of 2, it's the cheapest. So what we're going to do is we're going to include that into our MST. So essentially what we're going to do now is we're going to place arc, or include arc 1, 3 in the network in the MST and then three gets included in our set S. So after kind of one step, we now have one and three in our MST. So at step two, what we're faced with is we have both one and three in the network or in the minimum spanning tree and then two, four, five, and six are not in the tree. And then what we happens now is by including three in the tree, we introduce some new arcs that go in the cut from S to S bar. We have arcs three to two that goes across the cut. We have arcs three, arc three to four that goes across the cut. And then we have arc three, five that goes across the cut. So what we're doing at this step is we're looking now at all the blue arcs and figuring out which one of them is the cheapest. Well, the cheapest arc leaving node one towards, or cheapest blue arc leaving node one is arc one five, it's cost of four. Cheapest blue arc leaving node three is three, it goes from three to five. So we're gonna select five to bring into the MST because arc three five was the cheapest arc going from, the, going from S to S bar. So, I'm going to include 5 into the MST using arc 3, 5. And now what we're looking at in kind of going into our third step, we have nodes 2, 4, and 6 in aren't, that aren't in the tree. And then we have nodes 1, 3, and 5 that are in the tree. And then what happens is we need to kind of rearrange a little bit of, of the nodes or of the arcs that go from nodes in the tree to nodes not in the tree. So we now have an arc from four to five that goes from a tree node to a non-tree node. And then we have an arc from five to six that goes from an, um, a tree node to a non-tree node. What also happens is that Arc 1.5 is essentially no longer relevant because it connects to tree nodes. So we can get rid of arc 3.5 in the cut. 
or in consideration of the cut. So again, what we need to do is we need to look at all of the blue arcs, all of the arcs going from nodes in the tree to nodes not in the tree and choose which one is the cheapest. And so we're looking at arc one, two, cost of six, arc three, two has a cost of four, arc three, four has a cost of five, arc four, five has a cost of six, and then arc five, six has a cost of five. Cheapest one in there is arc two, three. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring node two into the MST using arc two, three. And so going into step four, we have one, two, three, and five in the tree, and then we have four and six not in the tree. And again, we have to kind of rearrange which of the arcs are relevant, which of the arcs should we include, be considering in the cut. Well, we add in arc two, four, because it goes from tree node two to non-tree node four. And then we also will include arc two, six. And what happens again is we can get rid of an arc. Arc one, two no longer goes across the cut. It goes essentially between two tree nodes. And we again are ready to kind of figure out which node are we gonna bring into the network next. So looking at all the blue arcs, I mean the cheapest arc going between arc two, six, between arc two, four, three, four, 5, 4, and 5, 6 is arc 2, 4 with a cost of 2. So we're going to bring arc, or bring, using arc 2, 4, we're going to bring node 4 into the network. And so at this stage, we now have nodes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in the tree. We have six not in the tree, and then we can kind of, the last step, obviously six is gonna come into the tree next, it's just which arc are we gonna to use to reach six. Uh, we can include arc four, six, and then we can get rid of, in terms of looking at the cut, we no longer, arc four, three, four no longer appears in the cut, and then arc four, five no longer appears in the cut. So essentially at this stage we're looking at the cheapest arc going in to 6, which happens to be 5, 6. So we're now going to include arc 6 into the tree with by using arc 5, 6. And then we finally have kind of all of our nodes into the tree. So we can essentially kind of call it, we're done with prims, just to kind of get rid of the last couple blue arcs and show you the final MST. Let's do that. So that is the final MST. And obviously, I mean, we're now done. All the nodes are now part of the tree. So pretty, I think a pretty straightforward approach to finding the MST. Essentially just maintain the set of nodes that are currently in the tree, set of nodes not in the tree, look at the arcs that go across those two sets or connects those two sets. So we need to basically look at an arc going from a tree node to a non-tree node and we're finding the cheapest such arc and then using that to bring in another node into the tree. So that's it for this kind of example.